the following lost episode is not real. Because none of this is real. Life isn't real. Your feelings aren't real. Your love for your family and friends is certainly not real. But I'll tell you one thing. You take the words, God is real. You put is and real together. You rearrange the R and the E and the A and the L. Except only the E and the A. And what do you get? God is real. God is real. God is real. Uh, hi. I- I'm going through a divorce. I'm not upset and I'm not surprised. It's my third marriage. I previously was married to a snake and a DVD copy of Oliver Twist. I have a weird way of maintaining marriages. I'm 21 years old. Anyway, I was at the court today with my ex discussing alimony and items that my ex-wife wants. My wife wanted the house and everything inside the house, including our pet cat, Chesterton. I'm only left with a car, which sucks because I only ride e-scooters, those bird ones, because I still owe a payment on the car. I work as a mascot for a children's pizza place I'd rather not talk about doesn't make me much money. I basically live off of each wife I marry. Number four coming soon. Hey, ladies. (laughs) I don't know why, but I really love the show Judge Judy for some reason. Makes no fucking sense because she usually calls out people like me. Her yelling and comeback comments are some of the best. I like Al Bundy shit. But I don't obsess with the show like others do, such as Rick and Mortis or Family Guy. No. No, no. There is a lost tape of the show. It's been hidden from this world. I'm just the lucky person to get it. The same way I was the lucky person to get that shit when I sat on that toilet seat and ended up with a virus... A bacteria that's slowly eating me from the inside. At the courthouse, the judge ordered me to give up all the property to my wife, and of course I signed the papers instead of smoked them. (laughs) After the signing, we were ordered to leave the courthouse, but as we did, a cop fondled my ass and my ex-wife pulled me aside. She gave me a virus, I mean a VHS tape, telling me that she wants to keep this as she, Naruto, ran out of the court. I appeared disheveled as I looked on the tape. Oh boy, oh boy. Things were starting to look up. It was the lost episode of Judd Judy. How could this tape be lost if it was found? You know, sometimes I feel like my entire life it's just me sitting in a lost and found and God forgot all about me. I shrugged and drove back to the motel that I'm currently living since I can't get my stuff back at the house. Oh boy, I'm glad that this Roach Motel has a VHS tape and a player. It's 2019, it's hard to find any of those in the current digital age. I put in the tape and waited for something to appear on the screen. It's what the state of my life had become. Well, finally the logo of Judd Judy appeared on screen for like three minutes. Then the intro appeared. It looked normal, except except the deep voice man speaking. Wait a minute. That was no man. It was an amphibian. It was Kermit the Frog. You are about to enter the courtroom of Judge Judith Scheindlin. The people are real, the cases are real, the rulings are final. This is Judge Judy. Yay! Said Kermit, as he played that Hillenburg song Maroon 5 was supposed to play at the Super Bowl on a banjo. The camera switched to the audience, which made me pause the tape. It made my heart pause and skip a beat. The audience was made up of celebrities. 
Oh, I got it now. This must have been a celebrity episode of Judge Judy. But then I scanned the audience. It was not quite that simple. Because some of them were cartoons. There was Kermit the Frog, Garfield, Alex Jones, uh, the Donald Trump, Fred Flintstone, Slender Man, Jeff the Killer, Squidward in all his late glory, SpongeBob, Ryan Reynolds, Blake Lively, Thanos, Pikachu, Deadpool, Christina Aguilar, Caillou, in go animate form nevertheless, Fred Durst, Insane Clown Posse, George Jetson, Urkel, Bradley Cooper, Ginger Spice, a.k.a. Uh, uh, I'm not going to tell you. Dave the Use Less, allegedly. Rami Malik, Howie Mandel, George the Ostrich, because you got to have him. Chris Hansen, Al Gore, Trey Parker, and Matt Stone, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Homer Simpson, and Mr. Fred Rogers. The rest of the audience was filled with skeletons. Some real, some fake. The gavel went to slamming. George Jetson is suing his enemy, Steve Urkel, for $5,000 over an assault. Mr. Urkel is countersuing because George teabagged Steve first. All rise, said the bailiff, Petrie Hawkins Bird. He hands over a folder for Judge Judy. Your Honor, this is case number 666 on the count of Jetson versus Urkel. Parties have been sworn in. You may be seated. George Jetson, this is your enemy, Steve Urkel, said Judy, as George nodded. You guys got into a fight. You said that Steve was the cause of the fight, and as a result, you got punched in the stomach. You say Steve owes you $5,000 for the assault. Steve is countersuing because you teabagged him, which caused him to be self-defensive. Is that correct? Yes, Steve said as he glared at George. He assaulted me and gave me severe PTSD. Once you're teabagged by him, you'll never be the same. Steve growled while doing his laugh at the same time. <laughs> that was weird. Judy didn't tell Steve to be quiet like a normal judge would. So what happened was that I was walking down the street because I, uh, had work, said Urkel. Everyone knows you don't have any work, said Judy barked back while the audience laughed. Laughed so high I was surprised I could hear it and not just dogs. But where do you work at? Judge Judy ordered. She looked very spooky, like her eyes were showing hyper-realistic shit and her skin was getting flaky like delicious pie crust. I am a host of Who Wants to Win $576. Urkel asserted. I was walking to my job, doing absolutely nothing. Like usual... Judge Judy inquired. That's not a question, that's a comment and a rude one at that. <clears throat> I was walking to my job doing absolutely nothing when George instantly teabagged me out of nowhere. George has a reputation of being violent and teabagging people. It's not my fault his show got cancelled. He needs to get a life and see psychiatric help. Judge Judy banged her fist on the booth she was in for no apparent reason. I guess it was a way to keep Urkel in check because, you know, Urkel was... <sighs> disheveled. She rolled her eyes and shook her head. She took a f uh, <clears throat> cigarette out and began smoking. Hey, she can't smoke in the courtroom. I was about to call the cops. Well, you see, Your Honor, said Lord Jetson, I didn't do anything simple. 
I rest my case. He instantly dabbed, and as a result of that, Judge Judy threw her c- cigarette at George, hitting him on the forehead. Now, to be honest, if someone dabbed like that in 2019, they deserve to have a uh, cigarette thrown at them. I've heard about you, George, Judge Judy said. I know you have a reputation for the bagging of tea, as they say. The audience sighed and laughed at the same time somehow. It was as if they knew. You were sentenced for community service, yet you owe Urkel $5,000 for physical and emotional damage. Get the fuck out of my courtroom! The tape, well, like any other Judge Judy episode, it went to the folks on trial doing an interview after the ruling. He's clearly a madman. I hope he gets the help he needs, Urkel said. I'm trying to work on my life and be a better person. Urkel was going to talk more, but suddenly right on screen, George Jetson flew in like some shit out of paranormal activity and instantly teabagged Urkel right in his fucking mouth causing the camera to cut to the next case. All parties in the matter of Spice versus Cooper. Step forward, please, Bird shouted. 21-year-old Ginger Spice of the 90s is suing 44-year-old Bradley Cooper for emotional damages. Gingy claims that Bradley Cooper ruined her life, said Kermit the Frog in a normal person voice this time. Miss Spice, you claim that Oscar-nominated, Grammy Award-winning, multi-platinum rock star Bradley Cooper ruined your life. Yes, this is correct. He's just a bad person in general, said Ginger Spice person as Judge Judy began to show hyper-realistic red eyes. How is this a case? Why does this tape exist? Why am I having a midlife crisis? What the fuck am I doing here? I should be doing something with my life instead of telling you about all this. What the fuck is all this worth? It isn't like I'm advancing anything. I'm not getting anywhere by telling you this right now. There is seriously no point right now in me telling you this shit. What is this possibly accomplishing? Like, I've got this bottle of LaCroix or some shit sitting on my desk. I have another one from a few days ago that I didn't even finish. I have a Dunkin' Donuts thermos from a few years ago. I have a friggin' flash drive sitting right on top of my computer tower so that I can log quiz grades from kids who couldn't give less of a shit but just want free grades because they were coddled in high school. I'm sorry, what was I talking about again? Mm. All right, Bradley Cooper shook his head, and that made Judge Judy lose it. She told Bradley to leave the court, and when he refused, two of the skeletons from the audience dragged him out. The rest of the skeletons joined up and began to beat him up with baseball bats. I I don't know why, but for some reason, Judge Judy just lost it at this point. She went ballistic and instantly got on top of her chair. That was when I noticed the two words scrawled in Sharpie in a font that looked oddly similar to Comic Sans. Scrawled, scribbled, on the top of her chair. Said electric chair. She bent backwards, and the headpiece came forward. Oh no! Judge Judy was going to die! On lost television. She began to screech like a demon. But then she got up and began to do backflips from the bench to the exit door. Everyone froze in silence as the credits struck. And then went to a quick static. I still froze in terror. What I saw gave me severe chills down my spine. I even used the Shaquille O'Neal Icy Hot patch on my back, and that didn't solve the problem. Fuck, I'm getting old. As a result, I'm paralyzed from the waist down, and I'm bound to a wheelchair. No women on OkCupid or Tinder will ever date me because of my condition. I lost my job at the pizza place. I live out of a sewer. 
Sometimes, though, my mom lets me stop by and crash in her basement. I have nothing else to do in my life but touch myself. I I plan on filing a lawsuit on the people behind this tape. I'm planning on going on Judge Judy. I think that's the best way to expose this one. Me and my lawyer... Mr. Phoenix Wright, just you wait. We're going to make this right.